In this video, I'm going to review and make a complete tutorial about the crypto trading platform Mobchart.com. Basically, Mobchart.com what offers you is a heat map liquidity charts and also crypto screeners. Basically, what you can find here is a platform that allows you to see heat maps because they have the functionality to see and put the order book in a graphical manner that, that is a heat map. And also from a pricing standpoint, if you select the monthly billing, okay, and you select the pro package, you can also use it for free and for free is most, more than enough. So you, you can have a lot of functionalities and see the heat maps using it for free. But if you want to upgrade to the pro package, it's $14 a month and you can put a lot of indicators there. So in my opinion, using mob charts is better from a pricing standpoint than using TradingView. So, as I said before, what is the main functionality of MobCharts? The main functionality of MobCharts.com is the heat maps. As you should already know, and as I have explained it in many other videos in this channel, heat map, a heat map is just a representation of the order book in a graphical way, okay? So, basically, the order book is a book of orders of every exchange. As you should know, you can select here the exchanges, here in MobChart in the left uh, hand corner okay in the top left you can select the binance spot the binance futures the buy bit spot and buy bit futures this is four exchanges the main two exchanges okay the the spot in the in the perpetuals the futures the, with this data you have a lot of data to to represent the the heat map because if you are basing the heat map or the order book in the main two exchanges that in this time is Bybit, Spot and Futures, and Binance, Spot and Futures, you have the exchanges with the two major liquidities, so you don't have nothing to worry about. You don't need to monitor Coinbase or monitor Bit, Bitfinex or Bitmex or other kind of exchanges. So the first functionality of mob charts is this, to represent the order book of exchanges in a graphical manner, with, which is called also a heat map. As you can see here, we, we have the heat map. Here we have all the demand or the bids, uh, the buy orders, okay? And here we have all the supply or the sell orders or asks, okay? As I said before, also MobCharts offers you the functionality of having indicators in your chart. So if for free, with the free plan, you can add indicators, okay? But if you pay, you can add more indicators. Right now, I have, for example, the volume profile here, the VVVR, okay? Also the volume and the heat map, the order book uh, heat map and the horizontal volume, okay? So that is the, um, as I said before, is the VVVR, but they call it in a different way. Here we have the watch list where we can select all the assets that we want to trade. And the most important thing, as far as I know, is the filtering tool of the heat map why because as you can see here we see all these lines is the the heat map the order book represented in the heat map and we see a lot of lines so the heat map is noisy has a lot of signals here a lot of lines and what we want to do is to clear these signals we, we need to filter these signals to make it more precise and to focus just on the high liquidity areas in the heat map so what we are going to do with this tool here is to move it and for example, I like to filter the minimum amount from 40, 20, 20 Bitcoin is a good minimum amount. And the maximum amount, I want to filter it to at least 180 Bitcoin. Okay, so we want what when we see a yellowish color, okay, it means the lines that is yellow color, there are sitting there the most of the liquidity because it's the highest amount of Bitcoin and the reddish color so the the most darker color is the place where the lowest liquidity is sitting there so we can assume that in this area here we have more asks or more selling orders waiting to be filled here limit orders because you should also know that he maps just re represent the limit orders we don't he maps that do not represent market orders market buys or market sales he maps only represent passive orders and passive orders are limit orders that are sitting there waiting to be filled that are the maker of liquidity in the market not the taker of liquidity okay maybe i'm confusing confusing you explain, trying to explain this but it's important for you to know if if you don't know 
please uh, see in my other tutorials that I did in this channel talking about and explaining in depth the order book, the heat maps and how to use them to trade. But as I said before, the main functionality of the heat map here on mobcharts.com is to filter the noise. So now that we have filtered the noise and we have the minimum amount of Bitcoin on 20 Bitcoin and the maximum amount of Bitcoin in 200 Bitcoin, okay, we can see the highest areas of liquidity. Here we can see that indeed in 60K we have a support or demand area, okay? So we can expect that when the price reaches this area or is going near to this area, a lot of people will be buying, so will be a lot of buying pressure here. So we can assume that the price will bounce. And for example, here we have a selling area, okay? Stack or a, su a supply area, okay? Stack with a lot of selling limit orders. And we can assume that the, when the price is reaching near to this area, a lot of people, a lot of traders will be willing to sell at these levels. So basically, a heat map, as I explained in many other videos in my channel, is meant to find supply and demand areas or support and resistance areas based on the liquidity that we have in the actual order books in the major exchanges that we can select here, okay? What is the fault that I see here in mob charts? That we have very little indicators. We have indicators, we have the footprints that is very very helpful if you now know how to use footprints you have the the order book heat map that as i explained before is the graphical representation of the other book and you have simple indi indicators like the simple moving average uh, exponential moving average uh, moving averages weighted moving averages bollinger bands uh, the vpvr as i explained you before okay you have liquidations, open interest, funding rates, okay? These indicators are very useful, okay? If you know how to use open interest, if you know how to use, for example, the imbalances between the orders, the deltas, okay? The RSI, the ATR, okay? You have many indicators. So you can do a lot of things inside of mobcharts.com if you know how to use this. I explain uh, how to use open interest in this channel. In other videos, I, I explain also how to use liquidations, okay? So if you want to learn more about these two topics, you can go to my channel and see these videos, okay? But as I was saying, in mobchart.com you can find a lot of indicators that can be helpful for you, okay? You can add, for example, this is all, obviously open interest is just for derivatives data because now we are in a spot chart, okay? But if we switch to the Binance futures, okay? I think that we can see, for example, let me see if we can find the Bitcoin pair. Okay, we can find the Bitcoin pair, yeah. And now we can add the open interest indicator, add this indicator. And here we can see the open interest, okay? Also, we can add liquidations. For me, the, the better configuration is to trade with liquidations and open interest, okay? And now we have our chart with two powerful indicators that are the open interest and the liquidations. The only issue here that I see is that, that mob charts does not tell us if the liquidations and the open interest is aggregated data, okay? But be, because aggregated data is the data that is collected from all the exchanges or, or if this open interest is just from the Binance Futures open interest. I think that the, this open interest is just from the Binance future open interest and for example in other platforms like CoinAlyze we have the aggregated data that in my opinion is better because we have collected all the data from all the state exchanges like Coinbase, Kraken, uh, Binance, Bybit, uh, Bitfinex, okay? So it's more accurate because here we are focusing just in one exchange, okay? So as you can see here, the heat map. For, to wrap up the heat map, you can see here that a lot of Demand is waiting to be filled here, uh, acting as support here on Bitcoin, okay? So, obviously, as always, when the price is reaching these areas or is near to these areas and a lot of bids or limit buying orders are waiting there to be filled, often there is the price approach this region, but it, they never got filled, as right here, okay? Because people is waiting for lower and then the market bounces and all all these of these traders wait got sidelined okay and this and they miss the the run the rally of the price so now if i if i have to make a bet i will bet 
on a long trade rather than a short trade okay but this is not the purpose of the video the purpose of, of the video is just to explain you how to use mobcharts.com other feature that we can see in mobcharts adding to the heat maps and the open interest and all the indicators that offers the platform is the crypto skin screener i never see this platform this type of screener this is new for me okay but what i understand is that you can see the influx the inflows and or outflows of orders that are in a given asset okay and the feature that's that called me more my attention okay is this that you can activate notifications on telegram okay you can connect your telegram account and put here these parameters this way you can receive in your telegram account these notifications regarding the asset that you want to monitor so i don't know i'm still figuring out how to understand this data and how to apply it to my trading strategy because i think that is interesting i don't have now the knowledge maybe in the future i will do a ad hoc video so a video made purposely purposefully to describe this screener data and how to use it into your advantage into your trading strategy but i never see this feature that mobchart gives you in their platform in another platform such as coin Allies or trading light or trading view okay so i think that is very interesting so i i need to deep dive more and then i will explain you how to use it in your budget in your advantage if indeed there is an edge in this kind of of data okay so basically this is my review of mob charts i think that is very powerful platform because i usually use trading light for seeing my heat maps and i use as always trading view but i discovered recently mob charts and i i i have to give it a try and i think that it's a very powerful platform that that offers you a lot of indicators a lot of of good data that you can use in your trading strategies such as heat maps open interest liquidations and the vbvars and for the price that you are paying that is 14 dollars a month you are getting a lot of functionalities so if you want to subscribe to the mob charts software okay you can go to my website trading the soldier.com and in the bottom of my web on my website on my web page in the home page you can see here the image the logo of mob chart and if you click it you will be redirected to mob chart okay with my referral link this way you will get a 10 percent discount in your subscriber in your subscription okay so you will pay i don't know if it's 15 or 10 percent less but you will have a discount and also you will support my channel because i will get a percentage on your purchase so this is a affiliate link if you don't want to do it it's better anyways because i don't live from these referral links if you want to support me it's good if you don't don't want to support me it's also good for me doesn't change we we are going to be friends anyway okay so this is my re my review i think that this platform should be enhanced in the future they 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 need to add more functionalities because now this the functionalities are very basic but i think that the simplicity in trading is undervalued so i think that mob charts has little functionalities few functionalities if we compare it with for example trading light but if you think deeply about it you don't need that much of indicators you don't need a lot of uh, functionalities a lot of because another platforms like trading view or trading light they have hundreds or thousands of indicators and in the end indicators are just data and your brain and your trading strategy needs to be simple to be successful and your brain needs little data to act on this data to make this data actionable and make trading decisions hopefully correct trading decisions so in my opinion that the fact that mob charts has less indicators and less data to focus on is helping you to not get distracted on to avoid a lot of the noise that you can find out there in another platforms so in this way if you need if you know how to use properly heat maps open interest liquidations and volumes and vpvrs you can put together a very good and simple trading strategy and the most important thing that is actionable okay because if we have a lot of data oftentimes the, the data is let's say contraposing one data to another they are 
opposite. So maybe one signaling or one indicator is telling you to go long and the other ind indicator is telling you to go short and you get confused. So in my opinion, the fact that mob charts offer you fewer indicators, powerful ones, so you focus just on the important things is better, okay? Rather than having a lot of noise and a lot of indicators. So as I always say, if you like the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to support me. Give me a like, give me a comment, okay? Follow me on Twitter where I publish a lot of daily updates in the market, daily trading signals for free, okay? Or my trading analysis in the market. Also, I share news about the market or share a lot of data daily, okay? Because I, the X Twitter, X Twitter is my main social media account and also you can follow me on Rumble where I post the same videos as on YouTube and also you can follow me on Instagram. So thank you for your time and we see you in the next video.